Hey, good evening, everybody. Sammy Thunder here. Um, wanted to do a video tonight. Got some stuff in the mail. Um, got some uh, wax boxes. I am going to be replenishing my wax box collection for sales at future card shows. So I really wanted to pack up on the basketball. It seems like a lot of the times whenever I sell at the farmer's market that I would sell at every now and then, or uh, some of the card shows I've been selling at, the packs really do well. And so um, a guy got this Fleer 1990 uh, wax box. It's a um, uh, baseball card exchange. Uh, authenticated it. So this was, um, I mean, I, I was debating not to open this, but... You know, the, the I I love the look of these cards. The nineteen ninety Fleer collection um, was just a awesome representation of the wax days of basketball. Um, Jordan is in it, Bird, Magic, Isaiah. So some of the premier players of that time that really brought basketball back to life. Um, I mean, that was like the turning point right there was with uh, Jordan coming alive and. Uh, leading the obviously we all know the story uh, the the three peats and um, everything that kind of just blossomed from there. So um, yeah, that was one of the things. Uh, this 1990 Fleer, I how I got it. Um, I belong to several Facebook groups, and uh, one of them is called Vintage Wax and Packs. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, I put in an inquiry about uh, wanting to replenish. I didn't mention that I wanted to replenish my um, my wax uh, box collection um, for card shows, but I did mention that I was looking for the 1990 Fleer basketball, the NBA Hoops 1990 uh, uh, box, and then also a restock of the 1989 NBA Hoops. And I was also looking for a uh, box of Don Russ 87. And so everything is there. Um, old stickers and all, which is really cool. Uh, old price tags at 40 cents per pack. Um, yeah, NBA Hoops is still here. With I'm, uh, I want, I'm actually curious because you could sort of see on the NBA Hoops, and I think on the Fleer as well, you can see on the 89 NBA Hoops, um, the front and back cards. I had a lot of responses, uh, a lot of people making offers. And, you know, the, the reality is that you want to try to get um, everything all in one shot. So I had some people saying that they had like one or two of the boxes. I, you know, and, you know, it was, it was tempting. But uh, one guy um, ended up having the, all, you know, all four of these that I wanted. And so it really made it easy. I asked him how much he wanted for it. Um, he mentioned that he wanted 300. Um, so I did some research online to see what these tend to go for. Um, it's been a while since I've made any serious purchases. I've seen this box sealed alone go for 90 bucks. The NBA Hoops 90, the 89s. I mean, this is not sealed, but um, this one, even not sealed, can go for about 75. You know, so about 75 dollars. Uh, this was the most expensive because it's you know because obviously it was um, authenticated by BBCE and so I imagine this I see this going for about 125 so um, we're already probably at about 300 and so the Don Russ was in my mind kind of like a throw-in because um, the Don Russ go can go like in this in, you know with without the ceiling without it being sealed the box is a little banged up but. Um, this tends to go for probably at about um, you know $50 or so online. You know, we're not including shipping. So all things considered, um, we agreed, the seller and I agreed to $300. And so we had to do shipping as well. So I asked him what he wanted for shipping. And he said, you know, shipping is probably going to cost me about $24. He, he was taking a, an estimated guess on that. And he said, let's split it down the middle, do you know, $12, we'll just do 312 and call it a day. So knowing that, knowing that I, you know, these, knowing all this, I said, absolutely. I think that's a good deal. Um, you know, the way I see it, um, the NBA Hoops 89, I'm probably going to sell for $5 a pack. 
So, you know, you do the math, 30, you know, uh, if I just take 30 times five, that's uh, $150. And then plus an additional um, $30, so it's $180 in, uh, from here. Uh, the 1990, I probably charge around the same four or five bucks. Let's just say five. So that's already at three. We're already at uh, 300 just by these two boxes alone. The NBA hoops, I probably do four. So that's about 120 plus, you know, a little plus a little bit more. So that's 420. And then the Donruss, I'd probably do for about four, you know, three, four bucks for those. So um, we're already probably at a hundred, uh, like, what was that? 420 plus 150. So, f uh, 570. I mean, ideally I'd like to try to double the amount that I paid for. So if I can get, um, you know, 600, $600 from pro you know, $300 profit, that'd be ideal. So I haven't really set my prices yet. Um, and there's some more, you know, I have some more boxes coming along, but, um, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, just to kind of give you some insight on how I kind of go about things when it comes to selling at shows. And packs do really, really well. Um, people just love the look of the boxes. They love the look of the packs. It kind of just resonate, resonates with people, especially people that grew up in that era or people that just appreciate it like myself. To, uh, to hopefully turn a profit on these. Um, I guess we'll see. I haven't really, like I said, I haven't marked my prices on them. And I have three more boxes on the way that I paid 64. Um, that was an 87 tops, a 90, 1990 tops. And I forgot the last one. It might have been, oh, an 89 Fleer. And so those will uh, also be, uh, be at card shows going forward. And so we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I wanted to share that with y'all. Uh, I have another thing I want to share with y'all. And that is, I picked up some mail um, that has been sitting for quite a while in my P.O. box. And this was my tax return money that was spent um, towards building uh, my collection. I saw that these two cards were for sale. And the, pri like the price that I paid for it, I thought, was extremely generous. I have this card already, but I couldn't help myself. I had to do it. Um, so this one, obviously I showed in previous videos, but this is a, this is another copy of it. Um, this one's already graded, um, near mint, but it's off center, but I paid, you know, for, oh, I'll mention what I paid after, but, um, corners are very, very sharp on here. Um, the card is in great condition. Obviously I have shown this in the past, so there's nothing new, um, about this the only except only difference is that this card is in, is in better shape than the raw version that I have. The other thing is I have this Bill Russell. I got the Bill Russell takes to the air. I was not looking to get the in action cards, but so it's a beautiful card. I mean, this one's a six, uh, a little off center as well, but a you know, beautiful card altogether. I mean, this card alone can probably go for about $2,000. The, this one definitely will probably go for that amount. I paid twenty one hundred shipped for both of these, and this was from uh, tax return money that I got. So part of that went towards these cards. So I'm really excited that these were are uh, in the collection now, and I might consider grading the other one that I have and sending that in, and um, just seeing what it, what it, you know what it gets. And I thought I'd finish the night off um, tonight with um, opening up some wax. Um, I still have some boxes. I still have the box that I've originally carried all this stuff in. So, you know, we'll open up some. We have three baseball packs and the four. Oh, I took two skybox. I meant to only take one. Um, four basketball packs. So I figure we'll break into these to finish off our night and uh, go from there. So I'll open up first the 88 tops. And here we have uh, Gene Garber, Dave Engel, Tony La Russa. Uh, I recently learned about Tony La Russa that he was such a huge influence on Dennis Eckersley's career. Um, and what a great manager he was, or actually is, because I think he, yeah, he still is managing. Tom Bolton, Donnie Moore, Dave Magadan, Mike Jackson, uh, Steve Bukelli. 
There's Matt Williams. I think that's his rookie card. There's a Roger Clemens All-Star card. Fred McGriff. Some nice three three cards there. Ray Knight. Uh, Dennis Powell and John Mazzano and Jim uh, Lindem. Lindem. Lindeman, excuse me, Lindeman. So that's our first stack here. We'll open up the sky box for the basketball. These uh these don't open up nearly as easy as some of the other uh some of the other packs, but we'll see if we could find a Jordan tonight in one of these packs. Uh ladies got Roy Tarpley, Tom Chambers, checklist. Richard Anderson, James Edwards, Jeff Sanders, Buck, Will Buck Johnson. There's a Hall of Famer, Alex English. John Stockton, Hall of Famer. Jeff Grayer. Horace Grant. Charlie Smith. Danny Ainge. Michael Cage. And John Conkak. Yeah, I picked up a Stockton, though. It's pretty nice. I might take the Stockton out and just put that and separate that. All right, uh, go to the 89. Here we have Darren Jackson, Willie Wilson, got Buddy Bell. Hey, there's Ryan, the Rhino. Uh, Luis Aguayo, Jim Gott, Frank Viola, all-star card, got Mitch Webster, Carmen Castillo, Fred Maring, Marik, hey, Jim Leland, Mike Kingery, Randy Reddy, Greg Riley, and Mark Clear. Switch over now to the Fleer 91 uh, basketball. Here we got uh, Theodore Edwards. Looks like he suffered a little bit of some surface issues. Something was pressing it at some point. Hey, there's an all-star card. We got Jordan on there. It's pretty nice. Vernon Maxwell. Hey, there's the Chief, Robert Parrish, Hall, Hall of Famer. Charles Smith. Hey, Bernard King, another Hall of Famer. Hey, Scotty Pippen. That's a nice one. Hall of Famer. Three Hall of Famers in a row. Uh, J.R. Reed. Marcel Thompson, Reggie Miller, Hall of Famer, League Leaders. That's a nice card. Tyrone Hill, Kendall Gill, Todd Murphy. And we got the Patrick Ewing illustration. This is really cool. These are pretty... Uh, I, I actually recently sold the entire um, illustration collection, including the Jordan. I sold it for about... I think, 10, I think it was like... I sold it for 10 bucks. It includes six cards. Uh, let's open up the 90 NBA Hoops. We have a Stacy King rookie card. Terry Cummings. There's Muggsy Bogues. Frank Cornette. Mark West. Sidney Lowe. Eric Lechner. Charles Jones. There's Lenny Wilkins. Another Danny Ainge. Greg Hodges. There's Carl Malone's All Star card. That's always nice. Chris Ford. Mel Turpin. And Michael Ansley. We'll switch back to baseball now to the 86. See if we can find ourselves a Roger Clemens second year. Uh, Kirby Puckett's second year. Got Mike uh, Pagliarulo. Julio Cruz. Bob Lillis. Bill Schroeder. Danny Cox. Hey, there's Phil Negro, Hall of Famer. Oh, so, yeah, they always get stuck around here for whatever reason. And this one suffered some serious wax. Or the gum probably got stuck to it at some point. Or something. I don't know. Marty Castillo. Floyd Humans. Daryl Motley. Here's Ron Darling. Dave Rucker. Neil Allen. Jose de Leon. And Dion James. And we'll finish it off tonight with the NBA Hoops 89. Let's see if what we can find.
And leading us off, we're going to look for the Cotton Fitzsimmons. If we find Cotton Fitzsimmons, we'll likely find a Jordan. Scott Hastings. Uh, Mark Allaire. Here's Akeem Olajuwon's All-Star Game card. That's nice. Daryl Griffith. Steve St uh, Stepanovich. Hey, Dominique making an appearance. That's in Hall of Famer. Nice one. Mark Aguirre. Benoit Benjamin. Michael Adams. Randy Brewer. Christian Welp. Pat Cummings. Another Mark West. Bill Cartwright and you Blob. <laughs> Uwe Blob. I always wonder what Uwe Blob's stats were. Yeah, he was a guy who came in probably for like the last two minutes. Or played like, you know, uh, played a bunch when the game was blown out in either direction. But he was the first round pick for Dallas in 85. So they must have saw something in him. But he just never, never lived up to the potential. So, anyway, that is it for tonight, Yao. Um, I'm trying to think. So tomorrow we're gonna come to come back to a live stream with Yao uh, to um, unveil 18 packs of the 1990 NBA hoops. I gotta have a full box ready to go. So we'll split it up into two weeks: 18 packs tonight or uh, Sunday, and 18 packs the following week. But as always, thank you all so much. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely check out more. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be in the know for all future videos. Do not forget that there's also a weekly vintage happening right now that you can check out. I'll leave a uh, video link at the end of this video for you to check out. And I uh, hope you all have a great night and take care.